for this? Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, stand by as we deliver to your TV trapdoor the living embodiment of 20th century pop culture. It's TFI Friday! Yeah! And tonight, you'll be witness as we wed the hurricane that it's eating up the earth. Please welcome the Spice Girls. Yeah!
girl, you might as well have you've never been to the best one I've been You never graduate from the school life, like you see, so come on, God. Why don't you step to me? Now when the time comes through, you're worse than me. So you think you've got what it takes. There's no time for your insecurities. I'm gonna wipe that smile. by the Spice Girls on the show all evening this evening. Right, they're off to get themselves together. Them, they're off now, them, to get themselves ready uh, to come back on the show right here, right now. Um, I'm quite uh, nervous tonight, to, to be honest, to, to have the Spice Girls. We've never dedicated a whole show to one band before. You know, uh, we wouldn't have them on two years ago. Now we've given them the whole show. Three songs, the whole damn thing. Because that's how wrong we were, girls. That's how wrong we were. Uh, but, um, I, you know, I'm nervous, but if there's one thing that's never nervous on the show, it's not a person, it's the desk. This desk has seen it all come and go. This desk is never nervous, right? <laughs> but tonight, even the desk is nervous. <laughs> Pete, just bring the boom in a sec. Now, look, I'm quite, I'm quite excited. This, this is my heartbeat. <laughs> okay? A, a little above the, the average. Okay? But the desk, listen to the desk heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> the desk's nervous, isn't that cute? In fact, in fact, the desk is vibrating, it's so nervous, it, it's, its teeth are chattering. It's unbelievable. <laughs> All right. All right, desky, desky, desk. But listen, what use is a vibrating desk to a Spice Girl? <laughs> Andrew's nervous and excited tonight. Andrew's so nervous, the barman, that he thinks he's Napoleon. Cedric is nervous. Cedric never gets nervous. Cedric's the coolest cat in the world, but Cedric's back on the bottle. He started drinking cooking oil again. He's off the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> He's 61. He drinks cooking oil. That's all I know. And, uh, Will, how do you feel about the Spice Girls coming on? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm OK. I mean, I like them. Oh, probably not, not the biggest fan in the world, really. Oh, is that right? <laughs> all right. You know, it's quite nice. Oh, quite so, well. so all those calls we got of tourists around London yesterday weren't about you? All those calls we got saying that you were roaming around the streets of London in front of tourists dressed in a Jerry Spice Union Jack dress. <laughs> Joking. Well, they, Stupid. No, they camcorded them, Will. If this isn't you, I don't know who it is. This is yesterday filmed in London by a tourist. Now that, look, that looks like you to me. Hang on. That is you, Will. That's not me. That is you. I don't know. I mean, I've got a dress that looks a bit like that, but I mean, that's not me. That's clearly somebody... No, I don't know, he looks a bit like me. I recognise you from the back and that's you, Will. No, that is not me. Look, that's hey, you. No, you know, it's not, you know I don't smoke a pipe, Chris. Well, it's not me. No, I've never seen you smoke a pipe, but I still think that's you, Will. It's clearly not me. That is not me. <laughs> it's not me, it's just not me. I think it is you. It's not me. 
She's give, not me. I'll give you one more chance. It's you. All right. <laughs> it's, not him. it's not him. It's not me. Somebody OK, else. then. How do you explain the following shots? <laughs> I'm Will McDonald of TFI Friday and I'm nuts about the Spice Girls. <laughs> how do you explain that? Let me, let me see that again. <laughs> I'm Will McDonald of TFI Friday and I'm nuts about the Spice Girls. Yeah. Oh, Thursday. Yeah, yeah that, 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 that was me. Sorry, I got them Dave mixed up. That was me, sorry. Told you. And now the Spice Girls have been here all day. They're very good at their job, you know. They're so good at their job. They've been hanging around all day, but they've got so much energy because they're all so fit. And they're so good at their job, they don't need to rehearse much. So they've been like tempestuous children all day running around, and we've been worried about them, one of them going astray. So we've come up with a brand new security device. And what we've done is we've just tied them all to pieces of string. <laughs> Colour-coded string. And, and this is where all the strings end up. And uh, there's, there's a string for each Spice Girl, and they're all attached to one of these pieces of string. So if I want to know where they are, I'll just tug it and, we, and sort of reel them in. Um, so <laughs> to prove this, you know, they've all got one posh, ginger baby, sporty and scary. Um, do you want to see one of the Spice Girls? Yeah! OK. This is my new colour-coded string uh, security measure to keep them in, in, on tow, in tow, in the building. Uh, who do you want to see? Sporty! You want to see Mel? All right, you want to see Mel? Okay, in a minute. Mel should be it should be attached to the end of the string. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. It's a bit of a snake. Oh. <laughs> 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 hang on a minute. <laughs> I've just realised the door opens the other way. <laughs> we'll open the door, please, will you? There she is. <laughs> Come here. Now, where have you been? Chris, what do you want? Hey, well, I just wanted to prove that you are on the end of these strings yeah, all day. Yeah, you've been on the end of the string all day. I know, it's the way I'm keeping tabs on you. I want you to wander off in a pop star tantrum. Okay, what do you want? Uh, well, I just want you to say hello to the gang. Hiya. Hiya. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You want to get off again now? Yeah. Okay, where are you going? What have you got to do? I'm just going to go for a beard or something, I don't know. All right, well, just before you go, just read that out for us, all right? Okay. okay, in part two, we try and get a rope around the global shockwave that is the Spice Girls. All singing, all chatting, all hell will not only be let loose, but be given new boots and shiny knuckle dusters. But first, it's Uncle Johnny Boy, and the wheels are steel. Well, thank you very much, but I'm so glad it was Mel that introduced me then. If it had been Jerry, she would have probably fired me, wouldn't she? You know what she's like. She's anybody, you know. <laughs> Let's go with the Spice Girls. Yeah, come on! To the bar tier by Friday. What about Andrew then? I can't believe Andrew tonight dressed as Napoleon. What about that? When he said he's got the Spice Girls on, he said, I'm going to be blown apart. <laughs> blown apart. <laughs> See, Mona. <laughs> oh, come on. Good. Not bad, John. Not bad. So that's Napoleon blown apart. Yeah. It's very funny. I see you can't deny that. That's humor. That's top class. That's top draw. The time has now come to meet the phenomenon that is the Spice Girls. Who's your favorite? Make your mind up all night and then vote at the end in our live phone in. So, would you please welcome my new girlfriend, uh, my future fiance, and of course, wife. She is Jerry Hallowell. <laughs> Hello, Geraldine. Ger only my mother. Calls me that. Oh, can I be the other person in the world only apart from your mum? My ex-manager called me that. Oh well, I don't want to do that then, do I? I don't know. I don't he know. called me Jez the other day. That was quite. Good. Jez, Jerry, Jell. Yeah. That was my junior school name actually, Jez. Jez. Yeah. Okay, I, but you've been, you been calling me Christopher all day, so I thought I'd call I know, you Jez. Geraldine. Okay, Geraldine. We said, have a, I said just before we came, and I said, have a great. Show. You, I said, have a great show. You said, have a great show, Christopher. Christopher. Yeah, you are Christopher in my eyes. I said, you too, Geraldine. Why am I Christopher in your eyes then? I think you just look like a Christopher. Oh, I feel like Christopher. Yeah. Like a naughty Christopher. I am a naughty Christopher. There you go. And so, are, you, are you a naughty Geraldine? I am a naughty Geraldine. Good because, girl! Because, because, I'll tell you why I'm a 
an Naughty Geraldine. Why, why, why? Because I have a confession to make. Earlier today, you asked me whether I had listened to your radio show, and I said no. Yeah. And I had. Okay, and I've got to say, I was touched and very flattered. Great. Right. Yeah, this morning. Okay, when I, when, I, when I didn't propose to you on the air, did I? I just said you are going to be my wife because you gave me that look That's in the good, eye. That's good, positive visualisation. And did you, hear, did you hear the bit about where I said that you feathered our nest because you bought us a little marital hideaway? No. You know you bought this house on the farm, if that's true, is that true? That's kind of partly true, I haven't bought it, I just live there. Okay, you live there? Yeah, I've lived there for years. Well, how does, are you a squatter? How does that work? I just, I just rent there, I haven't just... Oh, you rent bought. it? Yeah. So that's our little hideaway, is it? That's mine and yours hideaway? That can be. Great. <laughs> I'm we can come over a cup of tea, we can be friends. Yeah, we can. We can be friends. Yeah, well, friends is, friends is more important at the beginning, no, isn't it? Absolutely. Too many people do it the wrong way around nowadays. Absolutely. They because become lovers, then discover they've got to become friends, and they can't become friends, and then they split up. Because lust does not last. Well, sometimes it does. Lust doesn't last. Well, yeah. sometimes you get a 90 year old couple that are still at it, and that's quite nice. Like the. <laughs> like the well, couple. Sometimes they're not. You think, oh. But like the couple in Titanic that are hugging on the bed. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was nice, yeah. Did you like that bit? I did. Okay, I you did. follow these sayings, lust doesn't last. What are your other philosophical sayings? Oh, was it? I said equalisation between the sexes. Yeah. And I said to you the other day, um, was imperfection is a sign of individuality. Wow. Have you been reading a lot? You have, haven't you? I do read a lot, actually, yeah. I'm reading a book at the moment, is um, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. Well, what's that about, then? It's kind of, you can, if you just, you know, don't worry about anything, you can handle it, then, you know, you won't have any anxiety. There's nothing worth worrying about apart from ill health to your loved ones. Absolutely. That's it, Life's think. too short. Now, talking, talking about uh, things you don't need to worry about, did you, did, was it your decision to fire your manager? It wasn't just my decision, but, it was one fifth of the de decision. But who brought the subject up? I have a feeling it might have been you. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. Well, somebody else you said, listen, I've, I've been, been thinking. <laughs> Maybe, I can't. <laughs> It was, it was a joint decision, but, you yeah, know... But who sparked the idea? I think, who said, you know, I in our minds, we all... Lie. I think, you know, on a spiritual, mental level, our minds are in the same place, but what? obviously verbally... Who mean brought it up? Maybe, me, I can't lie. So you haven't got a manager anymore, have you? No, we manage ourselves. It's really good. We've got dele What we do is delegate. Right. Everybody, it's like the Prime Minister. We are the Prime Ministers. Right. Okay, and then we sort of, we've got defence, transport, you know, that kind of social thing. Social sec? Who's the social sec? Actually... Um, can I be Henri Social Side? Emma is, she is the monster. I want to help you out with the social side. Okay please. then. I can organise a great, you know, pub call, whatever. I'll <laughs> have to check out your CV first. Oh, right. But, but uh, seriously, all day today, they've been around and uh, there, there isn't anybody looking after you. You're looking after yourselves. Yeah, we do. You have your assistants, but there's nobody in charge. No, no it's one's telling It's fantastic. It's the way but forward. You know, everybody should, you know, we... And no 10% to the manager. Exactly. It works, Jeff. Yeah? That's it. You don't need them. Now listen, you've had your uh, run ins with Oasis, haven't you? You particularly. Not really. I think they're quite, you know, Nell's quite nice. Yeah, but you, you had a go at him once, didn't you? I didn't. That wasn't me. Well, I thought that was you. I thought you said something. No, that was Mel C. All oh, right. Oh, she doesn't mind saying that. Oh, no, Mel B speaks her own mind more than anybody else. She does. She is quite She should forward. be Speaker of the House in your Parliament. She should. She maybe scares she sh me. Maybe yeah. she should be Defence. OK, well, so, so, you get on with, so you're fine with Oasis. That's all right. I think so, yeah. Right. I haven't got a problem with them. Okay. Why? Are they going to spring out? No, good that? God, no. <laughs> they won't come anywhere near the building, let alone the show. No. So, You're so, mates with them, aren't you? Uh, well, I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Uh, where are they now? No. Well, well, you said it, not me. Uh, now, we've got lots of famous <laughs> faxes. Mean that literally, sorry. We've got lots of famous faxes. Lots of people have uh, faxed This one's from Dawn French. This is yours. Oh, Did, yeah, I like Dawn. She's dear Ginger Nuts Evans, here's my question for the beloved Spices. Uh, question, who would you most like to have lick you up the leg, Jerry? <laughs> um, does, it, does it have to be a man? No. Um, <laughs> I, um, I don't know. Maybe in a fancy world, I'd have, you know, some supermodels. Kind of thing, wow. Yeah. Okay, that'll do for me. That's that'll just keep a me fantasy. going for the whole weekend, that will. Okay, well, thanks to Jerry for the moment. Jerry, Jerry by the way, Jerry. Stay there for a sec. Jerry's going to stick around. We're going to do two more songs. Now, we've got to meet somebody else. Jerry's going to park a bossy over there. Let's meet Ms. Victoria Adams. Here comes another. <laughs> We were just chatting, me and Jerry again there, so I've got, I've got your little card here. I've got cards for all of you. So that was Spice Girl number one. Who's your favourite in the Spice Girl contest? 
Uh, phone at the end of our live poll, uh, poll vote. Uh, so, Victoria, you are Victoria Adams. I am. And uh, you, your age? I'm 24. 24 years old. And occupation? Uh, Singer-songwriter. And a Spice Girl? A Spice Girl. Wow, imagine that, having that as your occupation. I'm a Spice Girl. One of the five, by the way. And your marital status? Single at the moment. Oh. But, single. But soon I'm to be. I'm not single, no. But, sorry. No, but I'm not married yet. That's what I meant. I'm be, not married yet. Soon to be. Soon to be who? Mrs. Beckham. <laughs> Tell you what, Victoria, I think it's so cute that you describe it like that. Soon to be Mrs. Beckham. <laughs> so are you going to change your name? Yeah, I am. Oh, isn't Aww. that cool? Yeah. It's only because she doesn't like Adams. That's why. <laughs> Adams is a great name. Well, you're part of the Adams family. Halliwell well. says Adams isn't a great now, name. Now, don't start arguing hey. now. Come on, it's been nice all day. Uh, so, so you've already planned the wedding because I was at the, I was backstage with you at Wembley on Sunday. Oh yeah. That's and right. uh, you had your wedding advisors there. Yeah, I had some wedding coordinators there that I was having a chat with. So what's all that about? How does that work? They kind of organise, you know, all the cake and all the if you want geese in the front garden, you know, like all the all the fancy stuff to do with the wedding. You've got this thing about geese in the front garden of your wedding, <laughs> and this is true. She wants geese at her wedding. Why do you want geese at your wedding? I don't know. They just look good, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very worried about that. And do, do the wedding coordinators uh, suggest geese? They suggest yeah, you know, just all the kind of fancy stuff, you know, the stuff you see in the film, that's what I want. Okay, well, then, yeah, uh, do you, you want the, the best day of your life, that's what you want. Are going to come to the wedding? If I'm invited, I'd love to You're come. Gonna come. I'll do the disco for you. Did you do the disco? <laughs> well, I was going to ask um, that man over there to do the disco. That man over there. <laughs> Rebel. Johnny Boy, yeah, I wonder if he did for me. I'm sure he would do it. We'll do it together. Uh, so, how, can I ask you how it happened with you and David? Because I've read about it, but I've never heard from the horse's mouth um, what happened. So, how did did he pull you, or did you pull him? Well, I suppose I pulled him, really. Really? <laughs> yeah, no, I liked him, so I went to a football match, and I kind of hunted him down. But the I still get really embarrassed talking about it. But the, the it, first time it, it didn't work out, did it? You had to go back a second time. I had to go because he's very shy, you see. Yeah. So I really had to keep, you know, I kept going back and trying to pursue it. So what happened? You were in the players' lounge? I yeah, I was in the right? players' lounge, and I just said, "So you're going to take me out then?" And did he kind you? of, yes. Oh. Yeah. So he's so so he's really cute as well as he handsome is. and a brilliant footballer yeah. and the future husband and of you guys. He's got great legs. He's got brilliant legs. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine me and David Beckham now sat at home thinking, I'm going to marry her, I play for Man United, I also play for England, I'm a great footballer, I'm really handsome and I'm quite well off. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, he never wrote to Jim will fix it once. <laughs> so we, we've, got, we've got a little bit of film um, of you. And now we won't show it if you don't want us to, but I think it's brilliant. And I think it, I've never seen it before. And it's when you audition for the Spice Girls. Oh no, you can't! Listen, listen you Victoria, can't. if you don't want to show it, I won't, but I think it's... This piece of film is the actual audition where Victoria got the job in the Spice Girls. Can we show this it? This is just on? worse than embarrassing. Can we show it? We don't, if you don't want oh. us to, we won't. We won't. A little tiny weeny 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 bit. Okay. <laughs> it is, okay, this, this is really me taking the piss out of myself here no, because this is really head. bad. This is really bad. Okay, but we won't show it if you don't want us to. Do you mind? This is a historical day because now that the Spice Girls, they're, they're known throughout the world, they sell 18 million albums, and this is the day I Victoria see, got the job. Hello. Unbelievable. <laughs> piece of film. The strange thing about that piece of film, just go back to it, run it again. Because this is, this is, this is, this, look, it's the smallest pianist in the world. <laughs> he left my he's not there. So you know in the Spice Girls, thanks for being on the show, you've got two Thank more songs you. to go. And by the way, we've got all the auditions of all the other girls as well. Great. So now, so now you've said yes, they've got to say yes as well. Great. Okay, that was Victoria. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now, snuggle up with Jerry, Victoria, while we have the pleasure of seeing on our gantry the gorgeous Emma, Baby Spice is here as well.
we're right behind you, darling. Don't we're worry. Right here. No, I've got a card. Very nice, actually. I've got a card for you here as well. Okay. So Emma, Ooh. when I said hello, to, hello, baby, as you came on, then that is that is I can say that because your baby's fine. You can say that, yeah. Now you were you the last to join the Spice Girls? What happened there? I was, yes, I was the last to join. But I actually I've known Victoria since I was about eight. We right. did a show together when we were younger. Now were the Spice Girls already four, or did they always want five? What happened? Well, you know, there was there was four of them obviously together, and then because I knew Victoria, she said come along, and I went along, met the girls, and hit it off straight away. Yeah. They weren't the Spice Girls until I came. No. What were, did you have a different name then? They did, yeah. They, they were we called were called Touch. Touch? Yeah. <laughs> well. See, it was rubbish, wasn't it? No, Spice that Girls worked. Touch. Spice Girls worked. So listen, you've got a story to tell because we've all made mistakes in our lives. Nobody's made a bigger mistake than me, obviously. And um, you came to see us two years ago. Do you want yes, to tell the story? We came along to see Chris, didn't we, about four years ago. Four years ago? Yeah, two. Two. No, it was... Oh, maybe three. Three, three. all right. Let's, let's we'll go, go three. in the middle yeah. of three. Okay. And we came to see you and we said, you know, hi, Chris, we'd love to come on your show. Do that. And you said, go back to live and kick in. He screamed, go back and he to said, live and kick in. And he said he didn't want us on the show, so. And you, you came in our office and nobody had ever heard of you. And you, they stood we there sung. and they sang their hearts at a cappella and said, look, we're really good. And I was so horrible Especially and so dark. Especially for you as well, Chris. I know. And I said, no, go off to live and kick in, right? Two things really horrible about me saying that. One, yeah. it was disrespectful to you because you're working really hard. Right. Two, Live and Kicking's a great show, so I was wrong on both <laughs> <laughs> Live and Kicking is a great show, yeah. Uh, and so, but you've been around before. You've been on the TV and, and uh, in the public <laughs> domain before the Spice Girls. Yes, Wars. I have. Did anybody <laughs> see Emma in EastEnders? Yeah. Well, at least she wasn't singing Mine Hair, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she actually mugged an old man. I did. Oh. Uh, an old man who looks like he's related to Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Actually. I thought it was. I know. It looks like <laughs> it looks like Cedric before he went to the health farm. Uh, now let, let's see. Let's see um, Emma oh. mugging a poor old black guy. <laughs> You went through your dark days like I did, then. Yes, we did. But you're all right now. I'm fine. You're going to sing for us, aren't you? I am actually. Yes. Okay, just going to sing a little song for us. It's a song from the show. Okay, yes. sings this song. For you. Part of the gig. It's unbelievable. And the Duchess of York has faxed us here, and the fact says, um, my question for the four Spice Girls is, what's it like to work with a, a fiery redhead? I would also ask uh, the same question to Will. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it like working Actually, with Jerry? Actually, it's, it's pretty mad. She's quite a, she's quite a nutcase. She's quite temperamental. <laughs> Yeah, quite, yeah, she is actually. Was it her suggestion 
to attack the Millennium. Actually, do you know what? what? I was thinking, we were thinking about that, and I actually think it was victorious. So! Oh! <laughs> the dog destroyer over there. I can that on television now. You can, yeah. Okay, well, look, the other two aren't here. Mel C, and, Mel C and Mel B aren't here because they're downstairs, because they're doing their own thing downstairs now. This is Mel B and Mel C once again for the live show that's touring the world at the moment. Please welcome Mel C and Mel B, scary and sporty with sisters are doing it for themselves. <laughs>
Spice Girls, Spice Girls, Spice Girls everywhere. I couldn't be happy. Welcome back. We've come back for absolutely no reason at all. This is the end of part two. We'll see you in part three. Yeah! So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Thanks, Chris. I'd just like to formally offer my service to Miss Victoria Adams, uh, Mr. David Beckham, for their wedding. 85 quid at a discount rate because I know they're skin. Okay. Hey, listen, on next week's show, Spice Girls this week, next week we've got a brand new band called Source, ladies and gentlemen, a brand new band called Source. We're not sure how long they're going to be together because all their gear's on HP. Ha, <laughs> HP, stop. Hey, the pe <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Terrible joke, John. Uh, know, next, week, next week on the show, Lenny Kravitz is going to be here. Also, All Saints. <laughs> all Saints, one of the finest female bands in the world. It's only the finest, but one yeah. of the finest. Uh, the Blue Tones and one of uh, Britain's finest actors, Ray Winston, is going to be here. But also, boys, Banana Rama are going to be on the show. Yeah. Banana Rama. Banana Rama. Okay. Do some Banana Rama. Yeah, yeah. They can do Banana Rama. You've been gone too long. And I'm locked in a prison cell. What about guilty? What about guilty? You know, oh, yeah. um, guilty. Guilty as a cat can be. Come on, baby, set me free. No, no, they're they're wicked, How good are they? How good are they? Their time. They can sing, the other two can sing, we've already heard them sing. Please welcome Mel B and Mel C. Yeah. Yeah. Melly, 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 Melly. Mel B, how are oh, you? I, I'm very well, thank you. That how was, are you? That was brilliant, was the old great. sisters, wasn't it? That was a great song. You did very well there. Um, this is a fact from All Saints. Uh, All right. They've sent you a question. Go on, Here then. It comes. Uh, we read an article in the press, an interview with you, where Mel B says somebody told her All Saints didn't write their own songs. Who was it they want to know? It was you. Was it? <laughs> It wasn't me. So I think you should write the next question to him because it was actually him. It wasn't me. It was. Don't lie, Chris. Come I've on. Never, I've never met you before yes, Sunday. You, <laughs> you have, young you? man. It's been like this all day. Oh, don't. She's, she's got to calm down. What? They don't write their own songs. They don't. Jerry, come on. What are you saying now? No, too. No, I'm, I'm not playing. Audition <laughs> All right, then. Uh, yeah, we've got you auditioning for um, oh. the, the Spice Girls when you, the day you got the job. I'm just going to give up. Go on, then. No, no. It. Do you mind if we play it? I don't mind. Might as well. Hey, it's not bad. Go on. This is the day Mel B got the job with yeah. the Spice Girls. I saw it, I said, have we really got this today? It's brilliant though, isn't it? It's all right, not bad, oh, not come bad. On. It must have been one of the best days of your life. That's the day you got the gig with the girls. That's true. Yeah? That's true. And you don't exactly regret it 18 million albums later, do you? No, I don't at all. I'm very <laughs> proud. <laughs> you know, be proud. Your lovely Spice pianist though. over there, what's his name? No way, you're not going to get me to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> The rest of the band said, you, you are always winding them up. Can I get you back? <laughs> I'm going to get you lot back. You know I will. We've, oh. only, we've only got a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then. I oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I believe the children... Oh, right, no, I don't want to do it. No, 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 no,
no, get your note, get your note. You lot, you lot. Give her a note, go on, what is it? Wait, can you do it a bit lower, please? But I'll give you a note, you just join in. It's that true. With respect. We do like a pillow. We do like a pillow. Yes. With respect. We'll do I like believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. That's okay. all right. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> now. You've got, you have me shaking, you do. I'm sorry, Mel B. Listen, you also play the drums. Oh, no! Come on, you're good at this. I know Why you is this payback Melanie time? I don't... Did you not set this up? We didn't know about the singing. Okay, come on. I do have shorts on. Melanie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm like, are you going to see everything? Put the camera up a bit so you don't see out. <laughs> Okay, so that's Mel B. And remember, we want you to keep watching to see who's your favourite Spice Girl. We've got a, a phone poll vote. Uh, you can vote for your favourite Spice Girl. Uh, lucky caller will win a holiday in Bermuda shorts. Here's the number. Okay, there you go. <laughs> uh, here's Mel C's here now. Come on, Sporty. Oh. So, Mel, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for coming on the show. It's a pleasure. And uh, is it true that you have trouble getting a man? <laughs> oh. 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 I think the truth is that I'm just really not that bothered at the moment. Really? Yeah. Yeah. She likes women! Does she? Because oh. <laughs> um, I, I heard you had trouble getting a man, not because you're not beautiful or attractive, you just, you just don't, you can't find the right guy at the moment, is that right? Do you know what? No one really interests me, to tell you the truth. Really? Nobody at all on the planet? Well, not that I've met. I mean, there's loads of people I haven't met yet. Do you get lots of advances? Um, no. <laughs> it must be difficult, though, isn't it? Because you, 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 you're, you're swished out of your, your gigs and you're straight into a car and you're straight off and you probably never get to meet anyone. Yeah. No, we get, we get the chance. But, you know, I believe in fate, so... I know he's out there waiting for me. Yeah? And what would he be like? I don't know. What's the most important thing? Uh, sense of humour. He's got to laugh. Is that true though? Because all girls say that, but... <laughs> okay, yeah, but... I, I, no, no, but he's got to look good as well. Exactly. Because this is a really ugly geezer in the corner of the pub, you're not going to go and talk to him. And he could be the funny... I could be the funniest bloke in the world. <laughs> Which, of course, I'm not. Uh, now, we, we have your audition tape as well. Um, we sort of haven't got time to show it, unfortunately, your audition tape. But we have got time to show another tape that I don't think has been seen before. But once again, only... Now, this, actually, I've been stitched up the most here because everybody's seen all the others. They've all been on telly, but this one has never been seen. Do you know which no, one I it is? OK, it's worse. the one where you're in a it dance college. class. Yeah. This is brilliant because what this shows you, right, is that there were 25 girls in the dance class. Oh, my mate. And one of them really wanted to make it and was concentrating so much more than any of the other girls. The other girls think, yeah, we can do this. And there was one girl who thought, no, I'm going to get this right. And this actually took my breath away when I saw it. And this is um, Mel C in a dance class, trying to do her best. <laughs> and dreaming of fame one day. And you know what? She got it. Why Mel's got where she's got today and the others haven't, maybe. Yeah. I think it's a lesson to us all, yeah, to be honest. she's a very hard worker. Very so, so, you had a day off yesterday, which is very yes. rare for you, isn't it? Yeah. So, what did you do on your day off? Well, I was quite busy yesterday. What did you do? I had a few appointments. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but actually, <laughs> um, I went to see a spiritualist. Did you? Mm. And what did the spiritualist tell you? Well, I don't want to give too much away, but it's the future's looking very bright for the Spice Girl. Okay. In which particular department? Um, in every department. Yeah? Personal, professional. Yeah, it's all big thumbs up all the way. Okay, and, so, and what's happening now? Because you're finishing your UK tour, all of you, mm -hmm. and it's very good. I, I've got to say, I was so impressed when I came to see you the other night. I'm just a changed man. You've, you've changed me completely. 
Um, Come on! No, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. What, you mean, what, you mean you're gay now? No, no. Yeah. I, think, I think you actually swung me back the other way, to be honest. Yeah. But you're going to, to America and you sold out Madison Square Gardens in 13 minutes. Yeah, is that right? and um, in LA, you sold at that venue in seven minutes. Seven minutes? Yeah. So, 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 will you still talk to us when you come back to England? Okay, just generally, t t but your, England is your home, this is where you're going to stay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Home is where the heart is. Okay, yeah, you've got your big stadium, stadium gig, haven't you? Yeah. Wembley, Wembley yeah. Stadium. Yeah. To yeah. Okay, towards the end of the summer. Yeah. All right, and then when are you going to have a week off because you work too hard? We've got a few days off, haven't we? We're coming. Do you know what, today was meant to be a day off, but we decided to come on your show. Oh, well, today. thanks yeah. very much. Yeah. It's nice to have you here. Yeah. Can we say thank you to all of the Spice Girls? Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Jerry, Emma, Victoria, Mel, BMLC. Okay, up you go, one more song. This is going to be a brilliant song. Another live rendition. Yeah. Singing with their friends, Ian McCulloch and his funny man. And we've got Mr. Space and we've got Simon from Ocean Colour Scene. Tommy from Space is here. This is the brand new World Cup song, the brand new English song. It's on top of the world, the Spice Girls. Oh, 
If you wanna be my lover